Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, as we expected, Qualcomm have launched the Snapdragon 875. No, wait, it hasn't. It's launched the Snapdragon 888. If you want to find out more, please let me explain. So we're now at the beginning of a two-day tech summit where Qualcomm are unveiling details of its latest uh, Snapdragon processor. And today, day one, we have some limited information. We basically know the name and a few things about the processor. The first big thing is it's not the Snapdragon 875, it's the Snapdragon 888. And we know a few other things about it. Most details we're going to get tomorrow. So following this video, tomorrow's video will be all about the juicy details that they are going to unveil. But what do we know so far? Well, first of all, we know it's the Snapdragon 888. And when I asked Qualcomm about that, they said, well, yes, do remember that we have jumped in the past. So when we had the 820, the 821, we then jumped to the 835. We then kind of got into this rhythm, 835, 845, 855, 865. We're expecting the 875. Now it's the 888. It will be interesting to see, and this is pure speculation, it will be interesting to see if they maybe release a chip in the middle there that's kind of based on the 865, kind of upgraded, but not quite the 888 speculation on my part. So what do we know about the 888? Well, we know it's got the X60 integrated modem, which means we're looking at millimeter wave and sub six 5G. We also know it's got a new built-in Qualcomm uh, artificial intelligence engine based around, of course, their DSP and everything that we've seen in the previous models. This one is claiming an overall system performance of 26 tops. Of course, there's the Adreno uh, GPU in there, no details about the naming or what's in it, but we do know there will be some Snapdragon Gaming Elite features, which we'll find more about tomorrow. Qualcomm also mentioned the new image signal processor. The new one in the uh, 888 is boasting 2.7 gigapixels, and they use the word triple down, they're tripling down. Now, we don't know exactly what that means at the moment. The previous uh, ISP in the uh, uh, Snapdragon 865 was a dual ISP. Maybe triple down means it's actually a triple ISP. We'll find out more details tomorrow. However, one tantalizing number that Qualcomm did tell us about the ISP is that it can take the equivalent of 120 photos in one second, which is a, another way of saying 120 FPS, uh, and process those all using a 12 megapixel camera. So I wonder if that's gonna give us some interesting features about slow-mo or maybe burst mode in taking still photos. Again, more details tomorrow. And in terms of some of the partners, we know that the Xiaomi Mi 11 will be using the Snapdragon 888, and we've also seen support from Sony, LG, Oppo, Realme, and of course, OnePlus. So we're expecting to see a whole bunch of devices in 2021 using the new Snapdragon. Okay, so in summary, it's not the Snapdragon 875, it's a Snapdragon 888. New AI, new ISP stuff, new uh, elite gaming features coming in the GPU and lots of support from its partners. All the juicy details will be revealed tomorrow. So stick around and see the video that I'm gonna make about that. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And as I said, do stick around because we're all at the mercy of the YouTube algorithm and sometimes people don't see my videos when they come up. If you wanna make sure you get my videos, do subscribe to the channel and even dare to hit that bell notification icon. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.